Hi, I am Luke Oxley, a veteran of Team 6498, and in this video I will be explaining how to use the PDP and VRM. So first of all, I'm going to explain how to kind of set up the PDP with all the parts it comes with. So the parts it has are screws for the battery terminal connections. This is where the battery terminals will connect to, or the terminal wires. And then we also have some fuses that come in the bag. So to assemble this, if we had the battery crimps, they would go, these screws would go over inside the crimp and they screw in here. And you would get an Allen wrench and make sure that they're really tightened down. And you can see that it is labeled negative and positive. So make sure you don't mess that one up. And then this is just kind of a cover that goes over the top of it. So to put this, put this on, place it like that, and then the small screws are what hold the cover on. I won't screw them all the way in just for time. Okay, so then the fuses are on the other side. This, uh, these are the ports where the Rubberio VRM and PD or the pneumatics control module will connect to. Now, if you can kind of see, there's a little red box here, and that says 10 amps, and that's the fuse rating for the Rubberio. And then there's a yellow box here that says 20 amps, and that's the rating for the VRM and the PCM. So we have the yellow fuse goes in the yellow fuse box. And the red fuse goes in the red fuse box. Just like that. And it doesn't really matter which way they go. Now for the connectors, these are called Wago connectors, and that's how we connect all of our motor wires to the PDP. Now I have kind of a blown up version and a cross section of what's going on here. So this is before and this is after placing the wire. So you can see in the after, this is the wire and it goes down through here. And this metal part right here is what clamps down on the wire. So we have a tool or you can just use a screwdriver, but the tool is nice. And basically, we'll put the tool in here and pry up, and that'll pry this clamp up, and then we'll insert the wire, and then it'll clamp down. So if I can show you, you'll see this tool is inserted in the top port, and the wire is inserted on the bottom port. So if I place this down in there, and I open the port, you'll see that port open up and now I have a wire that I'm going to place in there so you'll see that's about the length that you want it to be stripped maybe like half an inch or so then we'll open the port up and then I will place the wire in there now also whenever you put the wire in there Make sure that you don't put it in there too far, and you'll be able to put it in there too far if you didn't have long enough of a section stripped off. And that's because you don't want the clamp to clamp down on the insulation, because that'll ruin your connection if it's just if the metal is connect is connected on the insulation, it's not going to do anything. So we've ran into problems because of that before. And then for the other one, we'll just clamp it down. And there we go. Now for the VRM, these are called Weidmuller connectors, and these are probably the simplest to use. Now you can use them with bare wire, but on our team we use ferrules because they're much stronger. So I'm going to demonstrate how, if you were to use PoE, how you would connect set this up. So with PoE, it has two ports or two sides to the Ethernet connection. 
and to figure out which side will go into the radio is you'll take the power wire and see where it goes so this one goes into this side so that'll be where we plug it into the radio now to use this these ports the router goes on the 12 volt 2 amp port and so to do this I usually get something pointy or you can also use your finger too and we'll press down on the white button and push the ferrule all the way down and you shouldn't be able to pull it out it should be really strong so I'll do the other one and there we go now ferrules are definitely I think better than bare wire just because they are cleaner you can see there's no exposed wire coming out of the the port and it's just overall a cleaner look so that's all I have thanks for watching